An opinion is much like a dick. Unless I want to see it, keep it the fuck to yourself. Welcome to Not Safe for Words. I'm your host, Crystal L. Kirkham, multi-genre author, editor, and cover designer. I'm here to give you insight into the world of publishing and to help you avoid the mistakes that others have made. So stick around. You're in for one hell of a ride where I don't curb the curses. All right. So this episode is hella fucking late. And I don't know if you can even hear it in my voice at this point, but I have been very, very sick. In the time of COVID, I have managed to not catch COVID, but one hell of a nasty cold. And it is well over a week still really taking something out of me. But God damn it, I'm getting this episode out there because in the season where we are talking about dealing with others in a professional writerly capacity, unsolicited advice is one of those topics you just fucking gotta cover because you're going to encounter it. And in all my chats with other authors, if you are not a white cis male, you are going to encounter even more unsolicited advice than many of your colleagues might who are white cis males. But that is, of course, a topic for another day on why that is, and not even really a topic that we need to cover until we start talking about trends in publishing if we get around to that point. Uh, but I digress. So, unsolicited advice, it happens. If you've been listening to my podcast since the beginning, you may have heard a little snippet about somebody saying that's an archaic word and sounding like an asshole because he was talking about the word assigned for VSS365, which is a Twitter um, story writing challenge where they give you a word and you write a little tweet of a story around that word and the word was a very archaic one and that's the way it was but this man decided he had the right to tell my friend that the story would have been better had she chosen a less archaic word and that wasn't the point of the tweet in fact they missed the point entirely me myself I have been the recipient of many an unsolicited piece of advice sometimes I'm just like Dude, dude, you're referring to the OP as if I'm not the OP. OP standing for original poster. And that shut them up pretty quick. Or when I say, you know, I run a publishing company. When they're trying to give me advice about editing. That also shuts many a person up quite quickly. But you're not always going to be able to say, Yo, motherfucker, I got more experience than you do in a nice and professional manner, which is, oh, that's great. I'm actually an editor. Um, Did you want to discuss this further? Most of the time, if they think you know more, they're not going to keep going. And that is a really great way to deal with it in that, hey, sure, yeah, you've got a point. But you know, this is why I said this, because X, Y, and Z, and invite them into the conversation. Who knows, maybe they'll learn something, chances are they won't. But if you're not in the position to say, hey, I know more than you in a very nice way, what the fuck do you do, especially when you are seen read over some stupid ass piece of advice that really actually is bad advice? What do you do? Well, number one, you can just fucking ignore them, block them, mute them, whatever you need to do and move on with your day. It's not a very satisfying way of dealing with it. But if you don't think you can be thoroughly professional, it might be your best option. Uh, Number two, you can just say, thank you for that advice, but it was unsolicited and please don't ever do that again. It's not exactly rude. It's very blunt and straightforward. And it does get the point across that you're not willing to deal with shit like that. And what else can we do? You could lose your shit. That doesn't look really good. 
You could say, yo, mofo, didn't ask, don't want, go away. Once again, doesn't look good unless it's really fitting in with your author brand somehow, and chances are it doesn't. So, I would avoid letting seeing red get to you in this situation as much as you want to. And I'll be really fucking honest. There are times where maybe I came off a little harsh myself because, you know what, you get it a lot, especially as a woman, of well actuallys from other people. And even if you do know more, they don't always believe you. Another idea, and probably not a great one, is call in the posse if you have one and let them read him or her who's giving the unsolicited advice a riot act. But I still think one of the most powerful moves you can ever do in this situation is to invite them in on a conversation. And sure, 90% of the time, it's probably not going to be worth the effort. But that 10% of the time, other people are going to be reading what is a public communication and they might learn something too. So even if the person you're talking to learns absolutely fucking nothing, someone else might gain something from the conversation. And I'm going to share a little piece that I picked up. I can't remember where it was, but somebody who always treated people who gave her unsolicited advice or told her obvious things that she already knew, like toddlers who just made a really obvious to you discovery, but new to them. And you're like, well, that's just great. I'm so happy that you have also realized such a thing. And it's condescending, but at the same time, if it's somebody going around giving that kind of advice, chances are they're not going to realize it's condescending. And if you just take your words for what they are, well, you're kind of killing them with kindness in this point. And that's definitely a real consideration. However, unless you can navigate these waters in a way that leaves you looking like you just took a slight little row across the pond instead of sailing the stormy seas, Your best bet is, once again, still to ignore, block, mute, and move on. Because it's going to keep happening. You could be a New York Times best-selling author and somebody's still going to think that they should probably tell you that you're doing something incredibly wrong and you should do it this way, their way. And it's as simple as that. There's nothing earth-shattering about this advice. Maybe you've heard it before. Maybe you just needed to hear it again. Maybe you consider this all unsolicited, but you're the motherfucker who chose to hit play on my podcast, so it is no longer unsolicited. Seriously, just take a step back. Don't be afraid to think about it, and don't be afraid to say thanks, but no thanks. Just be polite, because you also don't know who else is watching as much as so many of us really hate it when people come around with unsolicited advice and as much as we want to see those people who give unsolicited advice kind of get their due you also don't know where those people are coming from and that's a big consideration you also don't know who else is reading your interaction and goes oh this is a good professional person I might like dealing with them one day in a professional capacity. But going back to where people come from, and sorry guys, I'm a little all over the place today. You might just be dealing with somebody who isn't familiar with etiquette in this way. And maybe they thought you wanted the advice. You you don't know. And it's just advice. These are just words that are hopefully them thinking they're being helpful. Perhaps you're just reading into it wrong and uh, 
There are so many factors outside of what we think, believe, see that we don't take into account. And it's really hard to honestly take everything to a, into account. Even as a writer, as somebody who's supposed to be able to see and think from multiple point of views so that we can write all these different characters. Sometimes we get stuck in our own head and our own beliefs when we're interacting as ourselves. And I'm not saying everybody who gives unsolicited advice is just a little misguided, but some of them might be. Some of them just need a little help on how to act properly in this situation because they don't know, they don't understand. There is always a chance of that being the case. So a little bit of kindness isn't going to kill you. And if somebody really wants to be an obtuse asshole and not care that they are pushing their advice on somebody who really, really doesn't want it, and they aren't new or naive or just trying to figure out their way around, well, that's what the block button's for. Okay, guys? I'm really sorry about the lateness of this episode. Hopefully, I will start feeling a little bit better soon. In the meantime, do your best to remember to maintain that professional author persona while you're out there. Yes, have fun. Yes, be silly. But please, don't be a fucking asshole if you can avoid it. And uh, if you're one of those people who thinks they might accidentally be giving unsolicited advice, this is your wake-up call. Unless somebody specifically says they want feedback, or advice. Keep it to yourself. This has been another episode of Not Safe for Words. I hope you found some useful advice here today. If so, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can join me next time for more publishing and writing insights. Thanks for listening.